talking about the very important concept of our Karnataka CT, the weightage of the biology chapters, and yes, based on that, how you can get maximum marks in biology. How can we try to reach in this section? Karnataka CT is mandatory for getting into the courses, and our main target is to get into the best colleges in the state. Here at Diksha Karnataka, we will be giving you many crash courses which will help you to attain that goal. I, Dr. Smita Narayan Karthik, will be talking about the very important concept of our Karnataka CT, in which we'll be talking about the weightage of the biology chapters and yes, based on that, how you can get maximum marks in biology. And that's going to be lining up with beautiful colleges. And yes, this is what you're going to be dreaming of, right? Let us now start with that now. As I said, students, we will be discussing about the concepts which will be required for us to understand how can we take our steps in a systematic manner to crack the highest in our biology entrance. And here we go. So as you know students very well, Karnataka CT nali ninge yeradu course nali eligibility ide. So engineering course bere irthade wherein you have subjects like physics, chemistry and maths. And here we are talking about this area wherein this entrance will help you to get entry into the allied courses. Allied courses andre yenu? Can you give me some examples of allied courses? Yes, yes, tell me. Very right. Allied courses are like example pharmacy, D pharmacy, PharmD, diploma in pharmacy. It can be the veterinary sciences, plant sciences, etc. So these are going to be the allied sciences. And yes, Karnataka CT is mandatory for getting into the courses. And our main target is to get into the best colleges in the state, right? Let us now go to that now. So here, as I said, where are you going to land up? Yes, your main motto should be to get into this bracket of ranking. Wherein you should try to get at least be within less than 100 rank or less than 1000 rank. So look at the score what you're supposed to be scoring. That is at least 150 plus or 120 plus out of 180. That is PCB. And... Let us now understand how can we try to reach in this section of the ranking, right? So here at Diksha Karnataka, we will be giving you many crash courses which will help you to attain that goal. Let us now brief out, as you all know very well, marks consideration will be done from CT as well as Karnataka Board 2. Now, here we need to know the entire planning of the examination. So there is three subjects, physics, chemistry, and biology. In that, that is total 180 questions, 60 questions will be allotted for biology. That means the biology subject irute for 60 questions. And Adrali, what is the crux of the story of the entrance, you know? This is the main part, meaning 60 minutes per subject. 60 minutes, Sandre. One minute for one question only. And that is the crux of the story. If you are well efficient in understanding the content, more than the content, if you are very accurate and precise, then only you can get the highest marks in biology. So here are what some weightage of the chapters which we'll be talking about. And the best part about the entrance is what you know, there is no negative marking. So let us try to understand how within that framework of time we can try to attain the highest in biology subject. So here we go. So first of all you need to know this entrance is basically only for the Karnataka students. Right? Which students? Only the Karnataka students. Second emphasis should be made on the percentage of the questions asked from the second PU. So if you know Second PUC question approximately 80% barute. Andre, in the second PUC complete thoroughly agbeko. Second PUC preparation thorough idre, definitely 80% of the marks are in your pocket, right? Left out approximately 20% will be coming from the first PUC. So now let us see how can we prepare for that majority of the questions. So this is what the entire pattern of the questions going to be. Something called as easy, medium, and difficult. 
What do you mean by the easy question and medium and difficult? We'll be letting understand with one example. Before that, look at that entire pattern, how it appears to be. Here we can make out which is the highest percentage of the question being asked. Yes, and that is easy question. So if you see, easy questions are approximately 73%. That is really amazing for you students. You can actually prepare them because they are easy set of question. Easy Andre, it will be straightforward kind of the questions. Next, what is moderate and how much is the moderate allocation? And that is 23%. So 23% moderate questions will be in the question paper and left out 4% approximately will be the difficult type question. So it is now to understand how are the easy, medium and the difficult question. So look at this structure here. Can you tell me what is the structure shown here? Is the structure of the embryo sac. Now, we can frame three different type of questions from this. The first question of the easy type would be, can you tell me how many cells or how many nuclei are there? How many nuclei meaning? Can you tell me what, what would be the answer for how many nuclei? Yes, the answer is very straightforward. That is eight nuclei. Correct. Single question, single answer, straightforward. These are going to be easy based question and they account for approximately 73 to 74% of your question papers. So don't you think so? They are going to be the jackpot questions for you, which will help you to get the maximum marks. So your priority is going to be focusing more and more on the easy based question, making your exam more and more stress free. Yes. So this is the first type of easy question. Now look at the moderate type in the same question. How can it be asked? Can you name the cells or can you name the different nuclei? Can you name the cells? Yes, what are the name of the cells in the nuclei? Can you name them? And you are in the right position because you have studied that in second PUC. Yes, these are something called antipodal cells. You have the polar nuclei, central cells, synergids, egg cells. So these were the names of the embryo sac. Now students, compared to the first type, here you have to think more. In, in fact, thinking in the sense, you need to know the structure of the cell, that is structure of the embryo sac. And then only you can answer this question. That means moderate type will be having some concepts regarding detailing of the structure. So that concept will be called as moderate type questions. Now left out the third, that's a difficult type. So what will be the difficult type question? Difficult type would be, how is embryo sac formed? So how is embryo sac formed meaning, you need to know the exact mechanism of how is this embryo sac formed. And you know the answer very well. Mucilous tissue is a tissue which will lead to the formation of the entire embryo sac. Right? So here are the three types of question, easy, medium and the difficult. And your main target is going to be emphasizing on what? The easy type of the question. Now, let us move on to the entire weightage. So as I said in this video, we'll be talking about the weightage of the chapters. So from here you can understand which are the chapters you'll be preparing thoroughly and get maximum marks in biology. And here we go. So over this is a glimpse of all the chapters in second PUC. As I said, you will be emphasizing more and more on the second PUC chapters. And as it is fresh in your minds, you can easily prepare them. So let us now talk about the must do chapters. Why called as the must do chapters? Yes, look at the chapter weightage. Five marks, five marks, four to five. That means these chapters, namely sexual reproduction, flowering plants, molecular base of inheritance, organisms population, principles of that is genetics and human health and disease will be contributing the major chunk of your biology chapter. So you cannot miss out these chapters. You are supposed to prepare these chapters very well, right? Then only you will be confident of getting these marks. So approximately 25 <coughs> questions you got in your pocket here. Gotaita, at any cost, new the chapter, leave, you cannot miss out on these chapters. Gotaita, these are mandatory chapters. Next comes the should do chapters because if you see the marking here, 
three to four questions or two to three questions will be allotted and some chapters like biotechnology and application both are connected so you can do these chapters easily since connection will be making easier to understand the concepts very well revising also becomes easier understanding will be proper this is one simple chapter which actually is a straightforward chapter you can completely by heart and understand you. scoring well will be very easy for this chapter that is three to four marks in your pocket next comes is the human reproduction and reproductive health again they are connected chapter so slowly if you can see all this chapter are somewhere connected and studying them will be more and more easier and yes focusing on the highest marks this is another chapter coming from environment yes this is also not so difficult these you are learning since many years in the lower standards also some polishing here and there definitely easily you can fetch these marks too so if you understand the second group of these chapters are also in again if you prepare very well you can score this where questions too next comes the do that means you have to do but yes you can do it giving the least priority because slowly when you pick up those major chapters you can pick up some one one small chapters from here and yes you can easily try to solve these questions too so here in their daily reading these chapters along with the major chunk also will help you to understand the mcqs of this chapter so this was the brief outline about the weightage wise of the chapters for second qc so as i said you cannot miss out on these chapters correct these are the first group of chapters then again these are the second group of chapters wherein you need to emphasize more and more so this becomes your major chunk that is from sexual reproduction genetics health and disease biotech with application and biodiversity so these are the major chunks so majority of your problem in the biology is solved when you prepared these chapters well now comes the next chapters as i said for one to two marks these again as i said daily going through here and there revision of some of the concepts will help you to understand the mcqs of these chapters too so overall if you see majority of the chapters are covered here and your marks are also been covered here so main chunk of the puc second will be of more mcq oriented now let us talk about the first puc chapters here as we have seen in the first puc also so these are the various chapters of the first puc let us now see the breakup of this chapter there is one chapter called living world and biological classification again which are interconnected so you can prepare them together saving more time because they are connected so you will get around say a 2 to 3 marks so you can prepare the chapter together so these marks in your pocket meanwhile when you study any second puc chapter you can focus on the first puc chapter slowly covering up little bit importance given here and there can fetch you two marks here so this is a must do chapter and yes this is how you can prepare parallelly along with your second pc chapters too next is a should do chapter like for example this is again a very simple chapter having the structure of cell simple revision once twice will help you to fetch this marks too and again this is again a connected chapter understanding more and more about the animal kingdom and the tissues related to that will help you fetch you two marks here so as i said chapters like biomolecules as i said very example oriented questions can be asked again easy to prepare even this is diagrammatically very strong chapter so if you learn the diagram again this you can prepare so these are some of the easy chapters which you can learn through the diagram and yes these marks are again in your pocket that is from cell the unit of life the biomolecules and cell division so left out are the photosynthesis and respiration so here in this chapter you are going to have many cycles so as you have studied in the lower standard the photosynthesis also so that will help you the cycles will help you to explain the mcqs too right so this is how we can prepare these chapters followed with some of the chapters where you can emphasize more on this plant growth chapter because again a very straight forward chapter function based chapter simply by hurting the functions will fetch you one or one to two marks here so these are some chapters along with again example oriented questions can be asked here as well as here so as i said the neural control and coordination and chemical integration 
again these two chapters slowly slowly you can pick up along with the puc second chapters so that is how you can cover up these questions too and yes as i said this is how going to be the entire glimpse of the first puc chapter so when the chapters which are connected can be easily prepared so these are the some chapters which are connected and you can easily prepare them so here are some chapters like diagram oriented so these are some chapters like photosynthesis you have cell and you have the chapter that is morphology flowering plants which are again example based so these are some of the chapters wherein you can pick the questions which are completely example based or diagram based so this is what the gist of the entire first puc so here i could tell that once you are prepared thoroughly with the majority of the second puc and yes emphasizing also on the first puc you can get the maximum marks in biology and this will help you to get into the best colleges and these are some of the best premium colleges why i said best because getting into such colleges will give you a beautiful career and that is what every human all, always dreams for so i wish you all the best and yes students as soon as your theory exams are over your v diksha karnataka will be coming up with many many crash courses available for you in all the subjects like physics chemistry maths and biology and yes it will be helping you to fetch the highest marks and land up with a beautiful career for what you had designed for so here smita dr smita narayan karte signing off for today's lecture please like share and subscribe to our channel and bye then thank you